ότι τώρα αμφιβολίε για το κατά πόσο θα ολοκληρωθεί η συμφωνία Ερντογάν-Biden για τα F-16 εκφράζει κυρίε και κύριοι μιλώντα αποκλειστικά στον Sky ο πρώην σύμβουλο ασφαλεία των ΗΠΑ Τζον Μπόλτον. Ο κορυφαίο Αμερικανό αξιωματούχο μίλησε στην Νικολέτα Κριτικού για τα παζάρια Ερντογάν στη Σύνοδο του ΝΑΤΟ, χαρακτηρίζοντα τον Τούρκο πρόεδρο αναξιόπιστο και κακό σύμμαχο. Was it a surprise for you um, the fact that Erdogan lifted his veto so early? Does it mean he succumbed to the pressure or he got what he asked for very quickly? Well, I think he got what he wanted. Uh, that's the way extortion works. Uh, I still think uh, Turkey has behaved uh, as a poor ally in this circumstance. I, I'm glad we've resolved the issue on Sweden, but I, I still think the alliance has uh, trouble ahead as long as Erdogan remains president. It looks like a quid pro quo situation and it seems that the key to leave the veto after 14 months of second negotiations was the sale of F-16 fighter jets. What is actually the deal between Biden administration and Ankara? Uh, well, we don't know exactly what has been committed un under the rules that uh, the U.S. government follows. This still requires congressional approval and there's a lot of criticism in Congress about a number of things Erdogan has done over the past years, particularly, of course, the purchase of the Russian S-400 air defense systems. So I, I hope what happens is that we get formal sign-off by Turkey and Hungary, of course, to get Sweden admitted, uh, and then we'll see what we do with the F-16s. The timing of both the F-16 transfer and Sweden's NATO entry remains unclear. Turkey's parliament is not scheduled to convene until after the summer. Um, are there only technical issues to be resolved or the devil lies in details and the deal could blow up in the weeks to come? Yes, I think it still could blow up. I think the big question is whether the Biden administration committed to getting congressional approval for the F-16 sale before the Turkish parliament had to act. I, I, obviously, that would have been Erdogan's position. I think the Biden administration has demonstrated weakness in its negotiations internationally in many, many arenas. And it could well happen here too. So Menendez is a very powerful senator, has strong views on Turkey. We'll, we'll just have to wait a little bit longer, I'm afraid. Mitsotakis and Erdogan reached the political agreement that will hopefully lead to a prolonged period of calm waters in Greek Turkish relations. Will this be feasible? And how possible do you think is for Ankara and Athens to resolve their differences in Hague? Well, I think uh, the Mitsotakis uh, government uh, certainly has done a lot of work to try and avoid problems that have arisen from the Turkish side. Uh, and I think it's a measure of their good faith. I wish it were reciprocated from Ankara. And I think the United States would love to find a way to help help put the, help both both sides turn the page. Uh, I don't I don't see that coming from Erdogan. And he made it clear, even though he agreed to Sweden entering NATO, he uh, criticized the European Union for not moving ahead on Turkey's application. Uh, you know, Erdogan has a lot of room in which to make trouble, and uh, I'm just concerned he'll pick something that's of high priority to others in the alliance and try and twist it for his own uh, particular political goals.